Good morning and welcome to our off-grid alpaca farm and permaculture homestead. We raise over 60 alpacas in the middle of nowhere. And today I'm going to take you with me on my morning routine taking care of our newborn alpacas. Be sure to watch this entire video because you're not going to want to miss out on any of this cuteness. I love being the first to greet our mamas and babies every morning. It's absolutely my most favorite thing in the world to do. Here's our big barn. Dave built this barn summer 2021. It's multifunctional, so all of our pens are temporary and they can be moved and changed around anytime we need to. It's a big thousand square foot space. And here are the juniper poles that he used as uh, support poles inside the barn. He harvested these himself from the forest. And the alpacas love to chew the bark off the poles. It's like their favorite thing to do. We consider ourselves to be modern day homesteaders, which means we do as much as we can on our farm ourselves, just like building this barn and harvesting the poles from the forest. We also hand wash all of the alpaca fiber ourselves. Last year we yielded 200 pounds of fiber and this year we yielded 300 pounds of fiber. The first thing I do in the morning is let the babies out to play in the breezeway. As long as it's not too cold out, the next thing I do is take their jackets off. That's Glory down there rolling. And this is Cypress and Baby Eclipse. Lotus is still in the pen. I'm not gonna let him out till I can give him all of my attention because he's on the petite side. You know, he had a low birth weight. Here's our bedding area. We do have a chute and an animal scale and it runs off of solar batteries. If you can see our batteries down there, it's not the cleanest space, but it's our reality and I'm not gonna fake it. First thing I'm gonna do is plug the animal scale into the solar. turn the scale on and then zero it out, getting accurate weight on the babies is really important. I'm going to catch a baby and get his weight. Here's baby Cypress. Stand, stand, go baby. Let's see if I can get you this view down in here.
That's a good baby. Stand. Nope. Stand. Come on, buddy. Stand. Stand. Twenty five point four. He's gotten so big. Good baby. Good baby. Go on. After I get the weight, I just let them kind of make their way out of the chute. I'll get Eclipse next. Here's baby Eclipse, and this is his mama, Glory. Eclipse was just born on Saturday, so he's about four or five days old right now, so let's get his weight. Okay. Stand. That's a good baby. Stand. Sometimes they stay in the chute. Sometimes they try to run right back out. Stand. Stand. Good baby. 16.6. We'll try it one more time. I will usually get the baby's weight multiple times since they squirm around a lot. Sometimes we're uncertain if we got an accurate weight or not. And the most accurate weight we can get is when they're standing right in the center of the scale. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Back out with your mama. Back out with your mama. Now I'm going to let Baby Lotus and his mama out. Like I mentioned earlier, Baby Lotus is on the petite side and he was a little bit premature, so we've been being extra cautious with him. our sweet little baby lotus. Love him so much. Born on Sunday, so he's four days old right now. He was a little bit of a creamy, born earlier than expected. Um, we have him double jacketed right now. He's got this little fleece coat on and then his regular coat just to keep him extra warm so that he can um, just have his best chance of surviving on earth. In order to get his weight, you gotta take his jacket off. There's a naked, naked baby lotus. Stand. Stand. That's a good baby. Stand. So they don't always want to stay in the chute. Perfect spot, stand. Twelve six. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on 
After I get weights and temps on all the babies, it's time to move them outside to their outdoor playpen for some sunshine. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, mama. Usually the mamas are really good and they'll just follow closely behind you as you move their baby from pen to pen. But occasionally there'll be a wild mama in the bunch who will just take off running towards the field. We'll take Autumn and Lotus out next, but Autumn's a little bit of a wild card, so we do have to halter her and walk her. You having fun? You having fun? Sam, Sam, that's a good lady. And yesterday, Autumn did just that. She ran straight out to the field and started rolling in the grass. So now she gets haltered daily to get moved outside. Now the babies and the mamas will get to enjoy some glorious sunshine for a few hours before it doesn't get too warm. We're in this crazy uh, climate here in Northern Arizona where it gets absolutely freezing at night, but still really hot during the day. Please be sure to subscribe and support our off-grid farm. We have two more babies still due this month. Thank you so much.